How's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a service call on a commercial application and a customer says they have some offices that are not cooling. So we're gonna go ahead, check it out, see what we find. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by RLS and by True Tech Tools. Check out truetechtools.com. They carry all of the good, high quality brands like RLS, Navac, Fieldpiece, Appion, and the list goes on. So check out truetechtools.com and make sure you use the promo code QUALITYHVAC to save yourself 8%. All right, here's the indoor unit that we're working with. Root air handler. So let's see what size this is. <clears throat> Three ton. So I gotta find the condenser. First thing I like to do is make sure there's no water in the actual pan. It looks good there. Kind of say pump looks like it's dried up. So this thing hasn't been running for a while. So we need to go, I already know the thermostat's calling. So just need to find the condenser for this one. Looks like it's unit number 10. Got to have your sunglasses on a white roof. Woo! It's bright. Here we are, number 10. She's not running. Woo! Look at that fun stuff. Looks like the contactor's pulled in. So, I just have a check some high voltage here. No fuses. So, let's see if we got voltage coming in. Uh, see, that'll stay. All right, so coming in is on the top side. Nope. Basically nothing, we gotta go find a trip breaker. All right, so while I'm up here, since we have a tripped breaker, I'm going to see if I have any continuity between any of the legs to ground, just to make sure we don't have a short. So I'll just stick that down in there. Nope, that looks fine. Man, what a mess. Hopefully nothing's alive in here. We could check across here as well. Make sure all of our contacts are good. Oh, what do you know? That middle leg is not getting continuity between. That could be the reason why it tripped a breaker. Uh, maybe I'm just not getting good contact. Huh. Ah, 20 amp three pole breaker is tripped. It's not labeled, but that's gotta be it. Let's 
go back up on the roof. So when you're working on commercial applications, sometimes the hardest thing is to locate equipment, locate breakers, because they could just be scattered all over the place and that could make it hard on you. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is get my amp meter out, get that ready, because I wanna see if this thing's pulled lock rotor amps. So I do not want that breaker to trip again we have to go all the way down there to reset it. So it's best just to get yourself prepped and ready. Alrighty. Check out this little uh, case that I got from Vito Pro Pack. So it's the OC140. It's got this hard kind of shell to it, which is nice. And these are detachable. So you can get different setups if you want. This is what comes with it. But this is a perfect setup for all my field piece uh, probe sets, right? You saw that I have the pipe clamps that fit in here and my two pressure probes, two um, psychrometers, and then I keep three of these Appian uh, quarter pressers. This is a 5 16 and then I have two quarter inch, using one there on the high side. Uh, typically, I only use them on the high side. And then I keep a uh, Appian, this is a core removal tool, but I don't use it for that in this kit. This is only if I need to add or remove refrigerant while using my probes. So basically this connects to my core depressor like that. And that way I have two ports. I got one for my probe and then I got one to hook up a, a, a hose. So small little kit. It's pretty awesome. I'm enjoying it. Okay. So everything looks pretty good so far. Um, I've checked all my electrical connections to make sure everything was tight. Uh, inside the disconnect, everything here. Everything looks pretty good other than all this uh, dirt dauber stuff that needs to be cleaned up. But that's just surface stuff. That shouldn't really affect anything. Um, I don't think it's inside on the contacts, but I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and recommend replacing that just to be on the safe side because we did have a trip breaker it's very possible that that middle leg or something wasn't getting good continuity across the contact. So I'm gonna recommend replacing that. I'm gonna check this run capacitor uh, for the fan. This is a three phase system, if you didn't already know. So that means the compressor does not have a run capacitor. So everything is amping out good. The pressure is looking good. Um, I don't see any other issues at the moment. So it could be just a fluke thing that that contact is just not getting good contacts. All right, so again, a little recap. Everything looked pretty good, I didn't see any problems. I think that contactor just it being dirty and all that dirt dauber stuff in there created some problems. But um, again, I, I gotta get approval to replace that. On these commercial applications, you can't just you know swap it out. You have to talk to the right person, get approval. 
and all that. So it's running right now. Um, I even turned it on and off a couple times just to see if anything changed and it's doing the exact same thing. So um, it's running for now. I should probably get the approval in the next day or two. And then I'm also gonna just clean the heck out of that unit at the same time while I got you know that component out and just recheck everything. But sometimes that's the way it goes. They go pretty simple. You got a trip breaker, you just gotta hunt it down, get it uh, reset and then just check everything out. So I did notice that we have a heat pump or an air handler, I should say, downstairs with a straight cool condenser. So I'm gonna actually bring that to their attention too, that if we end up replacing this unit at some point, that we're gonna go to a heat pump just because that's, that's the way to go. I'm literally like a couple miles from the uh, National Airport. So airplanes are constantly going by all day long. Um, anyway, also the suction line on the, the, uh, the, the line set up here on the roof, all that insulation is just deteriorated. So I'm gonna quote them to replace all that too. Um, but that's pretty much it. So you'll, you'll see me come back in a future video to come uh, clean this thing, replace that contactor, um, you know, that sort of thing. But for now, that's gonna complete today's video. So I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed this cool little kit. I'll leave a link down in the description if you wanna hook, uh, get, get it yourself. I think this thing is nice. It even has a little, uh, a little clip right here so you can clip it onto your belt or onto your tool bag. Um, but it's pretty handy, I like it. Hit the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, see you guys later.